Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into Virgo, your weekly tarot reading today for July. All right, Virgo? So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, be sure to talk, check out your top right corner of your screen, darling Virgo, because that's where I leave the link to your monthly tarot reading. All right, as well as let me know in the comments below how this weekly tarot reading resonates with you today. All right, Virgo? Uh, as well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy this vibe, darling. All right, it's completely free to do, Virgo, and I appreciate it a lot when you take that extra time to do that. Now, Virgo, when it comes to consuming general tarot readings today, all right, be sure to check out more than just your one zodiac sign. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus. Virgo, that's how you make these general tarot readings uh, work for you, all right? So, Virgo, let's just get right into your weekly tarot reading, darling. See what's going to be happening. We're going to be doing three rows, all right? The first row is going to be covering your career and financial situation for the week, Virgo. And then the second row here is going to be talking about your social life here today, Virgo. All right. So this is relationship potentially for your romance, platonic, darling family, something in the workplace. All right, Virgo. But um, let's just get right into this weekly tarot reading here today, starting out with the back of the deck energy here, Virgo, the Ten of Swords here. So this is what I lack, like to actually see here, because the Ten of Swords in the back of the deck, it's going to be representing each of the rows, Virgo, all right? So this is really representing the closure of painful cycles. So in regards to your career, maybe you guys have been really suffering with, like, feel as if you're being buried by, like, financial debt, or maybe you feel as if, like, maybe you, some of you... Virgos have been getting rejected a lot is something that I'm hearing as well when it comes to applications or just anything that you've tried to do personally like it just it's been like a bunch of flops for you even in regards to your social life here Virgo I get like this period for you guys where it's just like <clears throat> socially for you guys it's like you your relationships are solid all right but it's been really stressful maybe like you've been fighting with people that you normally wouldn't be fighting with in your family or friends or what have you here but overall painful cycles coming to a closure here all right so i'm really happy to actually see this ten of swords there darling all right so uh virgo let's get right into your uh career reading here today all right your financial situation you have the 10 i mean the 10 i mean technically it's the 10 wheel of fortune wheel of fortune the three of cups with the seven of wands coming in here for you virgo all right this is interesting because this is speaking to me virgo where it's like you're receiving some really positive news all right receiving some positive news when it comes to your financial situation here now i said i think i said this is the two, seven of wands this is the two of wands here now the two of wands talks about contracts something that sets you up for the long term all right some of you virgos are going to be getting into a job like getting job security something like getting a job that you've always wanted to work at something like this is something long term this is not just like choosing to like work at like um, you know, like working at McDonald's just to pay the bills, just to get by for a little bit, right? Nothing wrong with if you work at McDonald's, obviously, but like most people don't work at McDonald's with the intention of just working at McDonald's, right? There's some really grand news happening here. All right. Some really grand news in the financial matters for you guys here. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor here. Also take notice that the wheel, like tens represents closures to cycles. Wheel of Fortune is associated with a number 10. All right. The Wheel of Fortune also represents it can either be turning in your favor or against you. All right. So you layer this up where it's just like when it comes to your financial and career, you've been going through probably just a streak of distress and bad luck, perhaps, uh, Virgo. Time are changing the wheel of fortune is shifting to your side through your cups energy that's a card of victory celebration over good news two of wands over something something that like sets you up solid here all right something long term i really want to be stressing this like long term for you guys uh virgo because i feel as if there's just so much that has been very fleeting for you it feels now in regards to your social life here virgo you have the high priestess as well as the ace of pentacles and wands stepping forward here all right pay, be paying attention to your social social life this week here all right virgo i feel as if for many of you guys here this speaks in a couple different ways all right it speaks on a couple different ways intuitively you have a feeling about someone that you haven't been communicating with in a while now it's like and this is not just like some like abusive ex or 
or anything like that virgo so you can just save the typing now honey like this is not like this is someone that you intuitively always know that you there's more to your story when it comes to this person all right this is someone like you are i don't know what happened that's y'all's business virgo but it's like intuitively you know that there's something more something to more substance you know that there's an attraction with you and another person now i feel as if it's really hard for you to read right now virgo because of this high priestess energy the high priestess energy doesn't really allow anyone to know what she is thinking all right so what i see for you guys here virgo is where it's like someone's going to start being more vulnerable this week you might start seeing the affirmations of how they are feeling toward like it's just someone that you have feel like you've always had these personal feelings about this high priestess energy whoever it is that you're dealing with are going to start uh showcasing more of their emotions showcasing that they actually want a part in this connection with you all right um so this could very much easily be for some of you virgos especially with the ace of wands being the heart of the energy here this is very much easily could be somebody virgo where it's like an acquaintance maybe you talk to them once in a while but you never knew if they liked you or not um as like a friend or what have you like this is just someone opening up that you otherwise might have like thought was just be a little bit mysterious but you always had like that natural drawing like again i feel like there's some type of like either intuitiveness from your side virgo which would make sense or some type of spiritual significance all right i'm not here to identify what type of relationship that is for you in a general tarot reading virgo i mean come on it's gonna be different for all of y'all now four cups with the emperor energy as well as the ten of pentacles another ten and then you have the four following you as well which is kind of interesting so you have tens and fours following you tens and fours you might want to write those numbers down um for you all right so what i see for you guys right now virgo is like y'all are starting to wake up and smell the roses here all right i feel like for you guys here definitely i like to see the stem of pentacles here your home life your financial life is going to be really picking up here especially if you have taurus in your chart or if you're dealing with a taurus at all virgo like tauruses and your readings are like eerily aligned all right eerily aligned i see for you virgo of where it's just like you're finally you are going to be getting clarity on like where spirit is trying to guide you to next i feel like for some of you guys you feel like because i'm being shown virgo where it's just like you know that game pin the tail on the donkey like i feel like that's what's been going on for you right now where it's like you feel as if you are we're playing pin the tail on the donkey they sp like the universe spun you around a bunch of times you're blindfolded you don't know what's going on you're just like all right you're kind of just haphazardly just trying to uh get by what i see for you here virgo is that clarity is going to be happening this week you're going to be having a sense of direction of what, where you need to be going and like again i get this sense it's like whatever good news happens for you especially in your career and financial situation here some of you guys might be getting like an opportunity that sets you up that uh, makes things easier in the future for what it is that you want to do virgo some of you guys want to be moving you have like this plan of like investing into something or building into something bigger that's like a big move but and so it's just like because of these grandiose visions or this dream that you have for yourself virgo this opportunity when it comes to your career is coming at the most opportune time for you because it's like the only way that is possible for you to manifest certain things that you visualize for yourself for your dream life is that would only be possible if things in the financial standard uh in a sense picked up and it absolutely is all right that absolutely is for you virgo let's start getting some girl <laughs> <laughs> let's start getting some clarifiers for you virgo see what's going to be happening we're going to do one more bit shuffle here and then we're going to start clarifying your career and financial situation here today king of pentacles page of wands knight of wands your energy well this is not your energy why do i think you're a cancer for a moment virgo do you have cancer in your chart uh with a cherry energy in the back of the deck this is happening quicker than you know this positive this life this game-changing news when it happens when it comes to your career is happening much quicker than you are aware about here virgo all right so be prepared all right because i feel as if some of you virgos you're receiving this message and you're just like okay Velka, like okay but like you don't it's like you're receiving it but without the expectation really of um anything like drastic happening all right because i can acknowledge virgo when it comes to like as a consumer receiving tarot readings like this is there's so much grandiose uh words being used when it comes to readings but it's like truly for you there's like some major game-changing news that cause is the cause of sub celebration for you all right associated with a lot of passion here knight and page of wands here with the king of pentacles stepping forward here virgo all right 
And remembering with that two of, pen two of wands as well for you, darling. All right. Uh, here as well and then you have the king of pentacles really complementing this right the king of pentacles is building that stable empire all right it's this nice mature energy to refine these passionate ideas to refine this opportunity um this passionate opportunity whatever door is going to be opening up there is going to be this nice king of pentacles energy that complements this here this is really such a balanced energy here what i would be getting from this here uh virgo it's like it's not as if i don't see you guys winning the lottery there's nothing grandiose in that Sense. but what i see for you guys it's like either you or the people you know uh like have some really like come into a job that pays really well or you come into an idea like a good business idea that really uh lays the groundwork for something successful right so let me use an analogy maybe perhaps that you wanted to start opening up like your own etsy store that etsy store it becomes like a nice stream of revenue for you here for the long term all right the, we're thinking about stable energy something that helps stabilizes your home life where it's not you're not going from stressing from bill to bill to bill it's nothing stressful it's just things stabilizing all right that's what i get for you guys things finally stabilizing catching a break in the career aspect where you're no longer stressing about it's like you're stressing about either like a specific bill or you're just stressing about getting a job getting that securement but things are starting to stabilize there all right so and it's again it's happening sooner than you're aware about with that cherry energy in the back of the deck let's clarify this social life here four of pentacles queen of pentacles here with the six of swords as well <clears throat> what i get for you virgos many of you virgos is that this is like a side message here some of you virgos are pulling out from a situation pulling out your pentacles from a situation that just was not serving you i feel like this is like a connection that you tried to make work out for a long time now full energy yeah very fitting energy here darling i mean come on now it's like for you virgo you finally have given up trying to make something out of a situ like out of a relationship right it's you came to the sense of being like all right if this person doesn't want to be my friend honey i'm not going to try anymore if this person doesn't want to be a family member a good family member a good sibling a good parent to me i'm giving up i feel as if you're going you're kind of just like putting your hands up washing your hands clean of a situation and moving on from it because i feel like some of you virgos are just realizing just misplaced investments or you're realizing like the people that you were some of the people that you were investing into you were just putting all this energy into but you're it was just doing nothing but a disservice to you it was as if like maybe you feel as if you're dealing with someone that was very self-centered perhaps here and i feel like that's what's like pushed you into this place virgo where you're just like you know what you know you keep on being you you want you you enjoy attention you want people just to chase after you you want people just to like listen to every word you have like whatever you know that's you you want you want that you want those yes men all right you want that type of person that's not me you know go on your own way you're done trying to make a certain situ social relationship work out in that way now so continuing on for your general tarot messages here we have the hierophant knight of pentacles here chariot energy coming right back out here all right for you guys here what i want you guys to most importantly remember virgo is that you are on the knight of pentacles journey where it's just like each step that you take it's the slowest moving night but you always get to your destination all right your life is really very much so like the tortoise in the hair you probably are seeing other people in your life their life they're doing so much with their life they're getting married what have you virgo and then you feel as if you're kind of just sitting here existing right the thing about it is it's like there's like the same kind of storyline where it's just like do you want to just grow as a weed where you sprout right up or do you want to be a tree where it takes a long time for you to grow then you provide fruit like there's a lot more value in the fruit tree than the weed even though the weed grows quicker and stands taller quicker all right so that's what i need you to remember at this current point in time virgo is that just because you're not having things happen at the same pace as your competitors or people that are around you darling doesn't mean that you are not going places all right because the thing about it is the people around you they're just dealing with surface level stuff right they're very much of the type of people just like you know not to say that this is the type of person that you're around but like you might have felt bad on some level when you're dealing with like the flex culture that it is today where people are like f flexing that they have louis vuitton and gucci and all this but the reality is virgo you're doing something with a lot more substance this hierophant energy really complements this you're building a future you're building a legacy for yourself and your family you're not interested in feeding the um feeding into the game the social status game of having the latest name brand thing here right so remember how your journey is going to be the tortoise in the air we already know how that story goes darling all right i ain't gonna spoil it if you don't i am going to be judging you though if you don't <laughs> but um virgo that's the uh, weekly tarot reading that i have 
have for you all right that, re that message really needed to come in here all right hopefully this weekly tarot reading resonated with you today darling and give you some clarity some sense of guidance here your moon oracle card is open up to change new moon in aquarius opening up to change opening up to new opportunities all right uh for you virgo what i want to be saying here is like some of you guys might be in this place of hesitancy of dipping your toes around it's very much so like you know what works so what works you're going to continue doing what with what it is that you know works take a little bit more risk here all right three of wands here you've already been sh being shown signs of like where spirit kind of wants you to go it kind of been nudging you along but maybe you've been ignoring it all right so I love you so much, Virgo. Thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to this, do this weekly tarot reading for you today. Remember, on the top right-hand corner of your screen, there's a little button that you can push to get to your monthly tarot reading, Virgo. I love you so much. If you want to book a private reading with me, I only do readings through my website, simplyvalka.com dot com linked down below next to my social medias if you'd like to connect with me more intimately on there tiktok and instagram just being simply valka same is here darling all right so i love you so much virgo and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future darling all right bye